The elephant is running. There are many Christianities. When someone claims to be an Orthodox Christian, my own response is often, which one? Historically, there are many streams in Christianity, Wesleyan, Augustinian, Celtic, Pelagian, Calvinist, Gnostic. And it seems like every stream has had people who've been excommunicated by another stream. Oftentimes heresy is a matter of power and not truth. And those who are seen as heretics saw themselves as faithful Christians. Oftentimes their positions once described as heresy have become mainstream in Christianity. Pluralism is built into the nature of our faith traditions and into the Christian family. That makes it challenging when we dialogue with other faith traditions, because just as there are many Christianities, there are also many Buddhisms, Hinduisms, Islams, and Judaisms. Oftentimes, I find that I have more in common with a Sufi mystic like Rumi than a Christian conservative. Oftentimes I feel more at home with Taoism's open spirit and faith than with doctrinaire and ritualistic and rule-oriented faiths from my own tradition. While streams of Christianity have much in common. For example, progressives may differ on fine points, but not in their openness to culture and belief in a loving God who calls us to prophetic action. And prophetic action oftentimes distinguishes us from nation first theologies that are proliferating today. Christianity is a varied elephant, and so is every other religion. In fact, the elephant in the room is always running. The divine is always moving, the divine is always growing, and there's many facets to the divine. And the different traditions catch different parts of the Holy One, both within Christianity and in our conversations with other faiths. Accordingly, we enter into dialogue with other faiths affirming our traditions, but recognizing the finitude of our own unique experiences and traditions. We need to be open to our own perspective and its growth, and also learn from other faiths. We need to recognize the incompleteness of our own faith. To believe our faith is complete is to become an idolater who mistakes the moon for the finger pointing to the moon. To recognize the imperfections of our faith, the limits of our faith, and yet the truths that they hold opens us to the possibility of learning and growing when we encounter others, learning new spiritual practices, learning new ways to look at God, learning that their critiques of our faith may enable us to grow. Living religions are alive and growing and so are we. The elephant is running.